Hey, hi, and hello. My name is Jenny Cat. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Mango Bay video. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. First of all, you're awesome. Please consider hitting the subscribe button because we have a lot of fun here and it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Anyway, Mango Bay is my tropical jungle rainforest themed island. We are building it up together here on this very YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be continuing my villager yard builds. If you don't know, I have a few villager yard builds you should go check out we have done tangy's yard we have done henry the frog's yard and we have done caroline the squirrel's yard today we are going to be doing another villager yard and giving them a job in this little series we give each villager a job for the island and we are building their yard based around that job so today i have decided we are going to be doing frank Frank's yard. And I have thought of the perfect job for our friend Frank. So Frank's job on this lovely tropical island is going to be the island lifeguard. So we're gonna make his yard build a very pool oriented. So I did, oh, don't look. Subject change real quick, sorry. So the other day I tried to film a video building our campsite area because I did move my campsite a little bit and um, I was gonna rebuild it for a video with you guys. So I started filming and my lovely microphone here decided to stop working. <laughs> so that video was not able to be used. So I couldn't use that video. So I'm just going to show you my campsite and what I did. I'm sorry that I was not able to build it for a video. I really wanted to, but I will show you, give you a quick little tour of it now before we before we start on Frank's yard. So I built a little staircase here and there's a bridge by the museum, which still needs to be done, decorated, but. So we have our staircase and then you come up and I use this nice little dirt path for the campsite area because it is supposed to be like a more woodsy area so I didn't use the sand path and then I decorated with a whole bunch of glowing moss and bushes and flowers and custom designs and then we have our little bonfire over here with our pile of wood and I planted some palm trees here everything is not grown in yet because I just did this the other day but I did plant some palm trees and then of course our little campsite and just some cute like campsite decor we have the little the little clay furnace thingy i put some mushrooms out here oh and i use this bamboo um tree i forget what it's actually called but they're in the nook the nook stop to order they're like a seasonal item so i use a bunch of those around because i just thought they were really like jungly looking and like something that you would plop somewhere where you're like decorating for tourists like a campsite and then i have this little path leading and i put a couple mushrooms here and this which leads over to more un unfinished areas there's frank our star of today and planted some more palm trees around the path and then this is phoebe's house which i moved from literally right here but <laughs> i wanted her to have more space because she doesn't have much space here by the staircase so that was where our campsite was that's what this leftover table and stuff is that's where the campsite was but i wanted phoebe there so we moved the campsite over here and that is how it came out and i think it's pretty cute and simple and i like it hopefully you guys like it that was a quick little campsite tour even though I tried to make a whole video but let's move on and we will do Frank's lifeguard yard today here it is so I did already put down the custom pool design only because I spent like a long time looking for a custom pool design that I liked I don't know I didn't like really like any of them and I needed it to be like smaller because obviously it's just his little yard area and I haven't decided fully if I'm gonna keep it or not because I did order the pool item from the Nook Mile redemption thingy so I'm just trying to figure out if I want to put that with this or if I just want to use that item or if I just want to use the custom design I don't know so we're gonna figure it out right now together I think I actually have to time travel because the items I ordered from the nook stop to use in this build are not gonna be here until the next day in the game so I'm unprepared I just jump into these videos with you guys honestly this is you have to see the process of building I don't plan this out all right so we are gonna time travel real quick a few moments later we are back we should have our items now so here we are we have everything now well, let's get started building Frank's lifeguard yard as I said I already have the pool down and I don't know if I'm keeping it so let me just like see so this is a pool item 
Ooh. A lot of people use this as like a little like hot tub or something on the side like that when they build like a bigger pool. And I was thinking of trying to do that with this, but I didn't know if it would look like funky with a smaller pool, but I actually kind of like it. it still kind of works and like adds like more dimension to it than just the like custom design on the ground. And so I think I'm actually going to use that. However, I think I am going to take this to Cyrus to customize so that it matches the custom design a little better. Now I am going to run and see Cyrus real quick and customize that pool. But while I am doing that, I want to tell you guys about a new like video little series. I'm going to start doing like in between these Mango Bay build videos and Squishmallow videos, of course. I am going to start a doing dream island tours so that means that you guys i'm going to be featuring your islands in my video i'm going to tour them in videos it seems like a lot of fun and like a more fun way to interact with you guys and you can have your island featured in a video yeah i just thought it would be fun for everyone and i love 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 seeing people's animal crossing islands and like the creative things you guys do that i would never think of i love it if you want me to visit your island in a dream please comment on this video and leave me your dream address or you can also message me on instagram if you don't want to comment it that is fine you can message me on instagram your dream address also and i will feature your island in a video i already have a couple that i am going to be doing that people have sent me so i'm very excited i can't wait to see your island so let's get this pool customized and get back to building i forgot to tell you guys okay hold up i have more updates too in addition to the campsite update and the very exciting new video series update i have another update uh someone moved i had a campsite villager and i decided to take them just to see who they would try to kick out because i do have a few people's photos now and i like to let them move along once they've completed their time here anyway henry moved <laughs> henry the frog left all my frogs are leaving i guess they are done and the villager that replaced him is not someone who fits our theme but i really like him and he was in my campsite so i let him it's not like i villager hunted for him okay on villager hunts i'm only taking the tropical rainforest villagers so i let him kick out henry and it it's bones it's bones the dog he got left in the rainforest by his owners or something okay i don't know and now i take care of him in my jungle all right and he doesn't fit my theme i know so don't come for me but he won't be a permanent okay i guess bones can either be the musician or we need to give him a new yard but anyway that's for another video let's build frank's um lifeguard yard we did customize the pool to match our custom design pool i like it i think it's cute we have that i did already go ahead and put the hedge fence down before as well can't do a lifeguard build without a lifeguard chair am i right so he's got his little yellow lifeguard chair to match his yellow house. How cute is that? Okay, so we got that. And then I also got, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or where I'm going to use it if I do, but I did get some of the party light arch, but I just thought it would be cute to have like, you know, the vibe of like when you go swimming, you have like a cute little like lighted area when you like go swimming at night or whatever. I don't know. I think that's cute. I wanted to use floor lights. Um, um, to put around the pool but I apparently don't have any so anyway we'll just use the party lights for now should I put them in the back right there is fine right so I also got I got these chairs this item is huge so like it's kind of awkward to put it like near the pool so maybe if we put it like over here I think I'm gonna move this tree and I might make like a little like seating area over here okay so let's put a palm tree here like by the pool so let's see if the tree will go here okay Okay, so we have that there. So he's got the little seating over here. That's cute. It's not really a very big space because we he's right on the edge here with our staircase. We are going to go in, of course, with some custom designs and some plants. I'm going to put some hedge fencing just on this edge here. And I'm going to combine it with like bushes to give a little dingy in the wrong spot over and over. <laughs> just to give a little like, you know, more of a vibe. More of a vibe. <laughs> so that's cute. And then, <laughs> look at Margie. 
She's getting her drink on at Tangy's Bar. Guest queen. She got ice cream too. Living on life. I said I was going to use the dirt path here for everybody's front of their house. But honestly, I think I'm going to bust out my regular sand path for Frank's house. I'm going to use my tropical sand path. So there's that. Cute, cute. And then I think I'm just going to put like some flowers and stuff around the pool oh yeah, yeah yeah wait a minute i have one more thing to do besides flowers got a snorkel you can like rent the snorkel from him or whatever i thought that was cute i don't know should i put it over by the pool or should i put it here tell me tell me i hate that i have this dang staircase here okay yeah i think maybe i should put it at the pool i think that's fun or i could pull it out a little like yeah there we go I think that's cute. Okay, so you get your little snorkel rental at the pool. <laughs> you get your little chairs over here. I took out a little cacao tree. Yeah, that's cute. I feel like that would be a plant you would have around a pool, right? All right, so let's go with some custom designs now. We're gonna have some palm leaves, of course. Palm leaves everywhere in the jungle. You know what we should put down? Little water puddles. There should definitely be water puddles. Like, people are getting in and out of the pool. All right, so let's search for a puddle design. Puddle. All right, here we go. We got some puddles. We got some puddles. One eternity later. Why is it so hard to pick a puddle? I'm overwhelmed with puddles. Okay, I like this one. This is the puddle winner. We only need one puddle, right? Now, I do want to do yellow flowers. We are going to do lilies. I feel like this is such a small build. I literally think I just used like three items. <laughs> well, no, I used a few more than three, but it's not that many. It was not that many items, but I think that's good. Like, I don't think it needs any more. We have the little chairs area over here, and of course the pool and the lifeguard chair. So Frank is our island lifeguard with the little pool. I think I might plop a few more like just flower custom designs down. I think this is really cute. I think it's perfect for what it is. We get the lifeguard chair, we get the little pool, we get some cute lights for ambiance, we got snorkel rentals, we got chairs, we got a cacao tree, we got puddles. It's cute. When these bushes grow in, it'll be even cuter. So yeah, I keep running through all the flowers that I just planted. I'm so sorry. That is Frank's yard. I think it came out pretty cute. So yeah, hopefully you liked that build. It was a super easy one, very simple. I will put the custom design that I used for the puddle and the pool in the description below if you are interested in that. That's it for today's video. Quick and easy little build. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. Also, like I said earlier, I am doing a new series touring your islands. So please comment and drop your dream address below if you want me to visit and tour your island. You can also message me your dream address on Instagram as well if you don't want to comment it. Whatever works for you, that's fine. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!